In this video, we try to demonstrate how we do physical examination for varicocele patients. Normally, a physical examination uh, requires the palpation of testicles and the veins around testes and uh, with the patient's training and uh, applying Guasalvo maneuver, uh, we try to find out if there is any enlargement in the veins or reflux uh, current in the vascular structure. Uh, a part of this physical exam examination in our clinic is performing uh, Doppler ultrasound. We uh, do not only trust the Doppler ultrasound made by uh, radiology doctors, we also do our uh, physical examination with our Doppler ultrasound. This enables us to uh, make a real, real time examination of the patient to see the varicose veins exactly the places of the veins how many veins we will find around the testicle how many veins uh, we will find inside the spermatic cords most important part we try to see how many artery we will find out in the operation for example in these patients when we look at the uh, uh, spermatic cord there we see a lot of a lot of uh, dilated veins these are varicose veins, which are uh, very dilated. We try to, uh, here we measure the uh, diameter of the veins. And here we see it is like 4 millimeters, 3.9 millimeters. It's a very dilated vein. And we see a lot of these veins. There are abundance of these veins. Uh, you see around testicle many uh, many many uh, venous structures this uh, examination make us understand what we will find in the operation and where we will find the veins sometimes we find the veins only uh, around the testicle sometimes there is no vein around the testicle in every operation we try to get the testicle out of the tissue and here there is the Doppler effect. Uh, this is colored Doppler. And uh, this patient is now uh, not in a uh, lying position. He is in standing position. And uh, now he is doing no Valsalva maneuver. He is doing no straining, uh, no coughing. But he still have reflux in the venous structures. It is very important because... People live their whole life standing up or in sitting position where the testicles are uh, facing downwards. And uh, this kind of patients have reflux all the day, all time long. Now he's doing no straining, nothing, but he is having this reflux. Look here, there is a big, big vein. It's very large. Uh, other than these abundant, abundant uh, veins, uh, there is a very one very very large vein, and these uh, veins heatens up the testicle, or sometimes with reflux, uh, they push back the toxic materials into the testicle, and these all disturbs the structure of the testis. And when we see with this uh, examination with Doppler ultrasound, we know what to do in the operation. And more than this, uh, we do uh, the test in standing up position. And sometimes we see the diameters of the uh, previously measured venous structures by radiologists is smaller than our original readings. So when the patient's it, patient is standing up, the diameter of the uh, varicose vein increases. Uh, and... Uh, the diameter mostly doesn't change with uh, straining, only reflux, the color change happens, but the diameter is usually the same. Because when he's standing uh, in position, uh, the diameter already enlarges uh, big, with big diameter. So it's important to see the real, real diameter when he's standing up. Now this is a, a slightly smaller vein, which is 2.2 millimeters. You can see at the bottom, 
the uh, measurement. These are smaller veins, but they are very much in number. Uh, many, many veins, so they are heating up like a radiator. They are heating up the testicle. So this is uh, the right side of the patient. You know, you see here, the veins are not as abundant as they are in the left side. In the right side, there is a slightly larger vein, which is three, like three millimeters. Uh, this is the uh, this can be said it is a varicocell in the limits. Uh, if it is smaller than three millimeters, we don't uh, regard it as a varicocell. But in three millimeters, we can say and. This may, patient may have a bilateral operation uh, for right side and left side together because there is slight increase of the diameters of the veins. And here these veins are smaller but they are very uh, abundant and when we wait we don't do Doppler for 2 seconds for 10 seconds we try to examine as long as possible. Now, uh, when he strains, when he does Valsalva maneuver, look, there is bigger veins. You see some side of the vein is bigger, some side is a little smaller. When we measure this part, uh, I will show the result at the bottom, I think. It must be uh, larger than 3 millimeters. So this patient has to, this patient has to be operated bilaterally. And when we look with Doppler's ultrasound Doppler effect, when he strains, we see slight uh, reflux. Yes, here it is a more reflux, so the reflux is continuing. Usually if it is continuing more than five seconds, this means a ref reflux and uh, it must be corrected. So in this particular patient, the right side is also has varicocell. Look, the uh, reflux continuing more and more. The veins are not too big. They are not uh, too large veins. But there is one, I think, external vein, uh, which is more than 3 mm in size. But the other rest is, although they are smaller than 3 mm, they are very uh, refluxive veins. So we try to examine more and more. We try to see all details that we'll, we will find out in the operation. People come all over the world uh, to Istanbul for our operation. Uh, we have a lot of... Istanbul is a central city. Uh, we have a lot of patients from Turkey and uh, neighboring countries. So we are experienced in this operation uh, extremely. We have a microscope uh, naturally, so uh, it's a must to use a microscope in the operation. But we have also microvascular Doppler. To see the arteries in the operation is very important, but it is not enough. I want to see the arteries also before the operation uh, to understand the exact place of the arteries and the exact number of the arteries. Usually uh, there is only one testicular artery uh, originating from abdominal aorta and feeding the testis but for sure when it comes to testis it has branches so we are not sure where the artery the single artery is branching. Sometimes previously we were doing the operation from inguinal region and uh, there was only one branch in a uh, testicular artery. But nowadays we try to operate more and more close to testicle and here testicular artery gives some branches. So before operation, you see the pulsation of artery here. We uh, examine the patient very detailed with our Doppler uh, system and uh, we just place our Doppler to the skin that we will cut and find the spermatic cord. And we try to understand how many arteries exist in this location. If the artery, look, there is a big artery, which is, as you see, is not so big as the veins. 
Usually a vascular vein is uh, two or three millimeters in diameter, but artery is like one millimeter in diameter. So arteries are always thinner than veins. And uh, microscopes are used to find the artery easily, but sometimes it is not enough. Uh, especially when we are operating, we do some manipulations on the vascular structure, and these manipulations stop start is here you see two arteries one here in the upper side and uh, below it there is a second artery uh, which we always uh, take a note for every patient here in, at the below part there is one more artery so in this particular patient uh, we know how where we will do the incision and this incision site we will find two arteries it's very important in the operation uh, the bigger artery usually supplies more uh, blood to the testicle, like 70-80%, but the smaller one, maybe 20-30% of the arterial supply come from the smaller, uh, but it is very important to uh, preserve both of these arteries, uh, not only the biggest one, but also the smaller arteries have to be found out in the operation. So when we map these arteries with this Doppler, in the operation we use microvascular Doppler, which is the thinner intraoperative Doppler device. And this helps us to find out the exact plate of the arteries very easily, very fast, uh, because if you only look with microscope and try to see the pulsation of the artery, sometimes it is very difficult, sometimes it is impossible to see uh, the pulsations because when when you make some uh, manipulations for the, for the spermatic cord to find the uh, vessels, when you make some dissections, the blood pulsation stops. So we wait for a microscope to show us the pulsation, and sometimes it is impossible. And we want anesthesiologists to increase the blood pressure to the pulse and try to see. Uh, we do some papaverin injection. Uh, in the area to make the artery pulsate, but most of the time it's time consuming, it is uh, not good for the patient, so uh, with, it is better to find it with our new this device, with, with this device, with our new device. So thank you for watching.